got it all figured out, so I really didn't need to pack that much for me. Okay, so you remember what I told you, right? Darling, I promise you don't need to worry about me. Honey, I always worry about you. I just know you too well. I'll be fine. <laughs> just promise you'll be here next week to pick us up. I would never let my two favorite ladies down. Well, okay. I guess we have a plane to catch then. Please, be good for me. All right, guys. You know, go on, you two, get going. I love you, honey. Just be here for us when we get back. We'll see you. I'm so sorry, Joe. I have been late three times this week. Joe, can you can you just give me ten minutes? I'll give you ten minutes. I'll be right out.
gone now? Yes, she's gone for a week. Does that mean I get you to myself for the whole week? Unless she comes back sooner for some reason. Where'd she go again? What is this, 20 questions? Sure. Actually, that was just for me, smart ass. And I'll ask you as many questions as I want. We went to the mall, if you know what's good for you. Oh, I will, will I? Okay, well, if you must know, she went to her sister's wedding. I wasn't invited because of the incident. Oh, yes. The famous incident. Well, lucky for me, you'll never live that one down. So what are we going to do this week? We're going to party like rock stars and drink like fish. Does that sound good to you? Hell yeah. <laughs> Please, Angie, try to keep your mouth shut and don't embarrass me. Got it? Whatever. Can I help you? I'm here to see Jack. And who may I say is calling? Yeah, it's Pete. Jack's expecting me. Just one moment, please. You know what? Fuck you! Hey, Jack! Chemo. Come on, man! Chemo! That was boss! Jack, what's that? Come on now! Jeez, I don't know what you're thinking, man. God! Relax, Pete. I'm just fucking with you. Jesus! Just for amusement, you know? I get bored around here. Chemo, take, uh, take Pete into the office and fix him up with whatever he needs. Uh, right away. Bring him back when you're done, though. Jack. This way, Pete. Don't worry, Pete. I'll keep an eye on your girlfriend. You want to warm up with a couple lines? Sounds good. You're reading my mind. <laughs> so, how do you... How do you like living on the boat in the whole harbor scene? You know, it has its ups and downs. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying to talk. Jack into, you know, getting a boat, maybe cruising around the islands in the summer. I think I could get used to it. I must say, there is a certain kind of freedom about it. Thanks, Jack. 
this is going to be a real fun week. I haven't been able to party for some time now, you know. You better go slow with that. It's not like it used to be, you know. That shit is really strong. Yeah, I got it. I can care for you. After you. You know what? Get out on that boat of yours. Hmm. Yeah, don't just sit in the harbor. You know? Makes you look bad. <laughs> I plan on taking her out real soon. You should come sailing with me sometime, okay? Yeah, when I have time. Okay. Well, bye, Jack. Okay. Thanks again. Take it easy. Communication. I feel the changes. The time has come. Some say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Some might say, stop living in the dream. You're welcome, but please don't ask me to do that again. I hate that place. What are you going to do now? I'm just going to chill on my boat for a little while. Well, I have some work to do on Rick's boat, so I'll come by after a while and get a little pick me up. You have something ready, right? Don't worry, you'll be taken care of. You know I can't keep covering for you. I know. And I really appreciate what you're doing for me. You know I'm just going through some stuff and it's just a funk I'm in. I mean, I just have to get over it and things will get back to normal for me soon. There's people who can help, you know? Don't worry, please. I mean, I'm fine, really. You wanna come in for a drink? <laughs> no thanks. You heard what I said. I'm here if you need me. I know. You got it. Take care. Thanks. I take a walk inside See the writing on the walls When the walls, they all came down There stood the masterpiece of all Lying naked on the ground Will the pieces all be found? All in faith The pieces will be The pieces will be found Living in faith Trusting in this day Living in faith That there's gonna be Everything's gonna be, you gonna be okay Yeah, everything's gonna be, everything's gonna be, you gonna be okay oh, Singing out on the streets, finding peace of mind Gone beyond the set you mean by the word decent? <laughs> Come on in. Yeah. 
So I was sorry to come home. <laughs> Thought I'd stop by before I head off to work. In the mood for some attitude adjustment. Got some fresh new shit in. Well, let's see what you got. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's in here somewhere. And then I can check the other pocket. Look! There it is. Wow, that looks like some good stuff. Yeah. I will have a bit. Right. I am so tired of people telling me to straighten up my life. I mean, don't they have a life of their own? Uh, you know they're just jealous of your relaxed lifestyle, right? I mean... You no, know, I bet they're just trying to make you look bad so that they can justify their own miserable existence. Well, who needs that kind of shit in their life? I mean... It's mm. not like I'm in the gutter or wetting mm. myself on a park bench. I mean, come on. Here. Cool. should last me the first few hours of work. I think I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Yeah? You want a beer? Yeah, I have a beer. I gotta head to work. Just came to spread the positive vibes, eh? <laughs> yeah, I gotta get going, but uh, you take care. Thanks, man. That was perfect timing. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Again, do you understand? Fuck. So you got something for me? On the table. ready to run around but we had a good time so tell me the plans for the weekend okay this is the schedule that we have tomorrow morning we have a 9 a.m. hair appointment okay and then at 11 a.m. James and I are gonna go and meet with the minister okay okay and then mom and dad arrive around noonish so yeah. okay so I'll meet them here and then you guys can take yeah. your time for that'd be great, that'd be great. <sighs> so do you treat all your employees like that only the fucking stupid ones. Yeah, I'll try to remember that. <clears throat> Did you enjoy that? What, you ripping your employee a new asshole or the two lines? <laughs> Both. 
You know what I would enjoy more? What's that? Just one more. Just? <laughs> you get it ready. I'll get us a cocktail. Now you are talking. And then we have, um, we have to meet with the cake lady. Oh, okay, wait, I need to interrupt you. Actually, um, I need to call Pete real quick. I forgot, and I wanted to, I'm sure he's wondering if we got here soon, so. Right back. I'll let that one go to voicemail. Who was it? <sighs> My wife. Why did you answer it? I would have been quiet. I really don't feel like talking to her right now. <sighs> hey, sorry. <sighs> Why don't you put your phone on silent? We can enjoy the rest of the night. You have any ideas how we're gonna do that, Angel? I do. <laughs> me we got here safe and I was just calling to say hi until you got here and hope everything's okay over there we miss you already Lila and I will call you tomorrow okay. love you bye Is everything okay oh yeah um, he's just probably away from his phone it's fine. Oh, sure he is. Kitty, wake up. Kathy, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to come here for this. Okay. I came here for your wedding and for the rehearsal tomorrow. Thank you. I'm waiting a long time for this. Your parents are coming tomorrow. We don't need to focus on this. Let's focus on the rehearsal and the wedding. It should be a joyous occasion. Right. So let's just focus on that. Okay. today. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I'm just gonna rest, okay? I'll call you later this afternoon and let you know how I'm feeling, all right? Thanks, Greg.
Hey babe. Morning. Now if you are a heavy sleeper, I tried to wake you up to have a little bit of fun and you were out. <laughs> Anyways, it's okay. I took care of myself. I was just gonna line up a few more. Are you ready? Yeah. Why don't you finish that? I'll get us a cocktail. Yes? Hey Pete, I'm really having trouble with Tiffany. What is it you're saying, Greg? You called in sick again today. We're starting to get a little behind. Why did you hire her? She had a great resume. God damn it. Do I need to find a new manager? No, Pete. I will handle it. No worries. Okay then. I gotta take another call. Can you just make do till we get this girl straightened out? You got it. Hello? Hello? Pete, Pete, it's Katie. Hey, Katie. How's it? Sorry, I was on the other line. Oh yeah? With who? Well, Greg's having troubles with that girl Tiffany he hired. Mm, she seems like trouble. I never liked her. I know, I know. That's what I told him, but he... I bet she's an alcoholic. He thinks she has a substance problem. You should make her take a drug test. I know, we should do drug testing. I know. She might end up being a liability. Okay, hey, I gotta go. You have to take care of this right away. Yeah, yeah. Lila misses her daddy. Give her a kiss. Okay, and I love you. I love you too. All right, bye. So, how are those lines coming? Yes, I am on it. Hmm. Well, here's the cocktail for you whenever you're ready. Boss man. God, I wish you could all just disappear. Man, turn off the phone, tie the dock lines, sail across the channel, find a nice quiet cove, just relax, anchor we down will. for the night. We will, I promise. I just gotta deal with the situation at work first. <sighs> Why can't you find a manager who can just do his work? There you go. What days are you free this week for an overnighter? Oh, so we are going to go on a boat ride. We just might. Well, and I am free to go any day. Mm. Breakfast of champions. I got to go into work for a bit, so you're welcome to hang out here or whatever, but uh, mm -hmm. I'll be back later tonight. All right, well, I'll just be around the harbor doing some work today. Did you leave me a little something? Yeah, it's in the drawer. Joe mentioned there's some state run treatment centers we can recommend, and if she refuses, then we have grounds for termination. I think we could hire a temp for the billing. How does Joe know all about this? Well, maybe she made me promise not to tell her secret, but let's just say she has some experience. Damn, what kind of people do we have working here? Look, I'd just like to feel comfortable enough to take off for a few days, and not have to worry that the whole company's gonna fall apart. Pete, I think if you wanted some time off, you could take it. Uh, Joe's really been good at picking up the slack, and Tiffany, when she is here, she does a good job, but if she's not, we'll be fine anyway. Well, I think you should have Tiffany take a drug test, and if she refuses, then give her those options. I'm sure she'll be easy to replace if we have to. I'm gonna go on my boat for a few days on a sailing trip, and I really wanna be left alone. Do you think you can handle that? Absolutely. Is there anything else you need me to do now that I'm here? Uh, 
I know some checks in. Yeah, Anna, can you get those checks and invoices for Pete to sign? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Tiffany is killing me. Are you like sleeping with her or something? Why haven't you fired her already? <laughs> it's not even like. That should be everything. Thank you. So, uh, Pete, when are you leaving on your sailing trip? Tomorrow morning before sunrise. Not sure how long I'll be gone, maybe a couple of days. I'll be back next week for sure. Well, don't worry, have fun. We got the fort covered. Okay, Greg. I will trust you. Don't fuck up, got it? No worries, boss. Hello? Hey Tiff. It's Joe. How you doing? Oh, I'm just getting up. Hey, I uh, have some news for you. Go on. It's not the best news for you right now, but it'll be good for your future. Tiff, you gotta go to a treatment center for help. If you don't go, they're gonna require you to take a drug test tomorrow. Are you finished? If you don't take it, you're gonna lose your job. I just asked if you're finished, so are you? Hey, hey, I'm just the messenger here, okay? I didn't say anything. I mean, that pencil neck motherfucker doesn't even have the balls to tell me this himself? Greg told me to tell you. <laughs> well, I'm done. You know, I really hope things go well for you, Joe. Really, I do. I was at your door for 20 minutes this morning. I can't be late for you anymore. Well, you know, thanks for everything, Joe. You know, I really appreciate all that you've done, but you can tell Greg that I'm finished. It's his loss, not mine. Tiff, I think that's, that's a bad idea. You know, I really hope things go well for you, Joe. Really, I do. Look, I'll be here to help you with your recovery any way that I can. I've been to meetings. I know how it works. We can do this together. No, I'll talk to you later. I gotta go. I gotta look for another job. See ya. You need to get help. Tiff? Hello? Motherfuckers. The fuck does he think that he is anyway? Fucking Peter such a fucking cokehead. Fuck! Fucking asshole. Got some Rastafarian Jamaican kind. You down? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Looks good. 
Oh, yeah. There you are. Thank you. Hmm. How sweet does that taste? Fucking good. Yeah. Exactly what the doctor ordered. You would not believe my day. My week. My fucking year for that matter. Well, I could imagine some pretty rough times, but I try not to think about it. Three months ago, my boyfriend leaves me. And the very next day, I get into this minor accident after a few beers, and that even buzzed. And the guy turns out to be a prick, calls the cops. They come and fuck my whole life up. The judge takes away my license, and now I have to be at the mercy of the bus. You know, I do pretty well with my bike. And the judge says I can't get my license back for six more months. So I've been late to work a bunch of times, you know, get, trying to get the bus schedules down, and, and I haven't been feeling good. I'm calling sick today. And then my fucking boss decides that, that I have a substance abuse problem, and, and so him and that cokehead owner Pete decided I should go to counseling or something or I'll have to take a drug test. So I fucking quit. Now I'm, now I'm jobless and carless. I don't know how I'm gonna pay my rent. Hey. <laughs> you okay? It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, you are. You are. You all right? You're gonna be okay. Time to think. Yeah, it's okay, Tiffany. You know what? How about I move in? You know, I could help you with the rent. That's nice of you, Vince, but I know it wouldn't work. I'm just not right in the head right now. I just need time to think. You know? You know what I got? Some Peruvian flake. Almost pure. Why don't you hold on to this for me for a bit? But, do not take too much because this shit kicks ass. All right? I'll be back tomorrow. I'm sure we'll have things figured out by then. You know how I feel about you, right, Tiffany? You know 
don't want maintenance. I'm <laughs> just damaged goods. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Do you not understand? Joe found Tiffany this morning, dead. What? Yeah, Joe said there was a bunch of cocaine in front of her on the, on the coffee table. Oh my god. You need to let her family know and you have all of her contact information in your file cabinet and it's locked. Okay, I understand. You have to come in and deal with this. I'll be in a little bit. Please, hurry. See ya. Uh, Greg. You called to tell me one of my employees won't be coming in today. And you have to go in for that? In fact, she won't be coming in ever again. Joe found her in her house this morning, dead. What? Yeah, Joe went to see how she was this morning and found her dead on her couch. With a mirror of coke in front of her. Is she overdosed? Oh, or what? I gotta go into my files and pull her emergency contact information. <sighs> call her family on the mainland. Oh, I'm sure they need to know. Sorry, I think this trip is off. Oh, I gotta call Katie and let her know. Fuck! I don't believe this shit. Ah. That's pretty depressing. I guess. Can you just hang out? This trip may not be over just yet. Let me see if I can 
go in and get everything wrapped up and get back here by noon. <sighs> All right, don't drive too crazy. No worries. Hey, there's money on the boat. Make sure it's locked if you leave, okay? I'll be back as soon as I can. You didn't uh, impress me as the kind of girl that took advice from any man. Angie, Angie, where are you? Angie? I must be going crazy. I think we should take the boat out. What would my girlfriend think? I don't know, I haven't seen her down here in a while. Well, she's been busy, mm -hmm. working. <laughs> but you're right, she, uh, hasn't been down here. Hmm. By the way, how are things progressing with Pete? Oh, Pete. He is a work in progress. Oh, no, 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 no! Fuck! I really think we should take our boat out today. Well, she could use a stretch. <laughs> if you can promise mm -hmm. to keep your hands off me, I suppose we could take her out. All right, Captain. Well, you just tell me what you need me to do to get us out of here, and I'm on it. Sound good? That sounds very good. God! Can you leave me one beer? <laughs> <laughs> 